Hey there guys, welcome to Shock and Awe Gaming. This is Silent Protagonist here. Today we are going to be starting off a playthrough of XCOM Enemy Within. This is the expansion to the rebooted XCOM Enemy Unknown. It's a turn-based tactical strategy game. And we're going to be playing it on normal in Iron Man mode with both the expansion uh, stories active. Uh, we're also going to be using a number of second wave options. Oh, now this is a game that I've played, I have beaten, so I want it to be a little bit more challenging. Um, so we're going to have the damage roulette turned on, uh, which randomizes the damage that all weapons in-game will deal. Uh, if we didn't have this on, they'd all deal the same damage every time they hit, regardless of the enemy. We don't want that. We want a little bit of chance involved. Uh, we're also going to be using New Economy. This randomizes the funding that every country is going to be giving our XCOM project. Uh, as a result, the countries that we defend are going to be different than a standard playthrough. Uh, these next two are going to affect our squad members, all of our new recruits. They're going to have random starting stats, and all units are going to get random stat increases every time they level up. Uh, doing this is going to make us really have to take a look at all the members that we have and really decide who we want to bring on each mission. Uh, we're going to also have training roulette. Now outside of their squaddy and major rank bonuses, uh, which are one apiece, I believe this changes all the rest of the ability trees that all the other classes, obviously other than the, uh, the mech troopers, which uh, we are going to be getting this game. It randomizes all the bonuses they can get. Um, so outside of the Squadian Major, they all have two abilities that you can choose from. When they upgrade to Squad or Major, it is just a single ability. Uh, so you do just have to take that one. As far as I'm aware, this randomizes it so that it doesn't even have to correspond to the appropriate rank or class. Um, so we're going to have to really carefully choose what all of our characters take. Save Scum we're actually not going to use since we are playing on Iron Man. Uh, since we are on Iron Man, we're not going to be able to really reload the game anyways. Uh, it does just auto-save all the time, every action. So there's no need for a random save. And all units in the game are going to receive an aiming bonus. The closer they are to actually flanking an enemy unit. Uh, this goes for both our troops and the alien forces, so it is just totally balanced. Uh, it's that way for all of these, so it does just make it a more challenging playthrough. And with that, we're gonna we're gonna start this up. And I am gonna be uh, more or less not talking during all the cutscenes, uh, just in case people haven't seen them, want to listen to what's happening. I might make a quip here or there, uh, but for the most part. We are just going to watch them together, and we don't need a tutorial for this. I've played this many times, I've beaten the entire game. Although I have not beaten it on an Iron Man, which hopefully we'll be able to do this time. Also, for those who are curious, unfortunately our effect on the outcome is limited. Uh, once I buy XCOM Enemy on no, not 2, I'm going to be doing a Let's Play of that game. Um, yeah, I don't know why all these people are walking closer to this. This seems like a really bad idea. I wouldn't recommend this to anyone. Um, yeah, once I get an XCOM enemy unknown, I'm going to be doing a playthrough of that. I suggest 
never works out well. Hello, Commander. In light of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Good is, luck, Commander. That is also the takeoff for our first mission. We are going to launch straight into our uh, response to this uh, this extraterrestrial event. And we are going to be starting in South America. Um, now, all of these continents have a bonus, uh, as you can see. They're displayed here. North America. Europe. Asia, South America, and Africa. Now, if you fully cover a continent uh, over the course of the game with the satellites, you will get their continent bonus. However, you'll automatically start with the bonus of the country, uh, the continent, sorry, that you start in. Uh, so we're going to be starting in North America. It's going to make our autopsies and interrogations instant. Um, I'm assuming uh, that's the case because we just have really, really shoddy uh, legislation for what we can and can't do. And Brazilian authorities have requested mission. our help. Like so I was saying, we're going before, next. what we can do is limited. We've picked up a local uh, broadcast I'm going to be doing a playthrough of XCOM and a major metropolitan area. Once I do buy it, get down there and eliminate um, any but from what I have heard, uh, regardless of what happens in this game. Uh, the aliens take over Earth, so that's a thing. Let's, uh, let's start this off. Now we do have random stats on everyone, so I'm hoping that they will have... Strike one, this is central. You are free to engage all that hostile contacts in the AO. Mm -hmm. Don't take any well, chances. Might not. Moving out! We're just gonna secure our landings I'm on here. Commander. That's what we're looking for. There's a melted cane out there. I'm not gonna be surprised. That's affirmative. Aliens nearby. Moving out. Alien life on Earth. We're witnessing something never before seen in recorded history. Oh, oh I'm shocked. Their weapons appear to self-destruct when the operator dies. We should look closely for any fragments that could be salvaged for our own development programs. We still hit. What's worth taking the shot there? Heading there now. Weapons hot. Did not want to find the other squad. Target eliminated. 
Good work out there, Strike One. If I may, Commander, the labs are on high alert. Teams are standing by for your orders. We can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. Alright, so that went really well. Um, I'm not sure if everyone's going to level up here, but no one died, no one got injured. It's, it, was, it was a successful mission. Could have been optimized better, but successful Commander to nonetheless. The research labs. Commander to the research labs. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support for our field operations, and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. I don't actually think he does anything here. I've never seen him do a single thing. Other than stand in that, that mission control room. Outstanding. Not only did our troops return uh. safely, but the meld they recovered will certainly advance our development of new technologies based on this substance. I was not very careful. <coughs> um, all these units only needed one kill to rank up. Um, I screwed up. I got two people, two kills. That'll help get into the next level sooner. And we have two more rookies on our team that don't really have any use until they go Commander on Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. All right, our snipers specialize in dealing massive amounts of damage from afar. But without sufficient training, they're vulnerable in close combat situations. The assault class serves as our front line. They're the first ones into a fight, and the last ones out. Now you can see here, like I mentioned earlier, the squaddy, the major rank, they only have one ability. I'm pretty sure they are the assault abilities for both of them. <clears throat> um, but for Corporal, Sergeant, Lieutenant, Captain, and Colonel, they all have two abilities. I'm pretty sure they don't necessarily correspond to the, the, course, the, the rank that's displayed here. Commander to the research labs. So this could Commander be Sergeant or Lieutenant labs. ability, we don't know yet. There are going to be two of them. I'm pretty sure they don't even have to be the same classes abilities on both sides um, for a standard playthrough. But we'll see when, when more people level up later on. The recovered artifacts are being unloaded and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Farlin. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. Right. Commander Since to engineering. Uh, Commander to engineering. Ah, Commander. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. I'm pretty sure it's going to ask me to go to mission control as well. Alright, so, since we do want to get our mech soldiers as soon as possible, we're going to start off with meld uh, the combination. Thank you. I agree, that does seem to be the most pressing of our current research options. We'll begin immediately. I our will notify you when a complete report is available. Our next one is going to be xenobiology, that'll let us start to get to the, uh, the autopsies, the interrogations, and get more potential tech that much sooner. And we're gonna make two med packs for our next team. Eventually we'll have more of them. There's gonna be one on every medic. Or rather for support. 
heavy support. They're more or less just medics. They're not particularly useful outside of that, unless they get a lucky uh, roll on an ability. Um, so we are going to use a little bit more money to hire men. Gonna also want Commander. An extra satellite. Our current satellite uplink facilities are at full capacity. We should build additional uplinks as soon as possible to allow for new satellite deployments. Five of them. Um, don't bring us to seventeen. We want to be at twenty at the beginning. Um, now you can see this officer training school here. As our units rank up and become a higher, higher rank, uh, we're going to unlock more bonuses that we can get, including uh, larger squad sizes. Um, all of our new recruits will start at the squaddy rank rather than the rookie. We won't need to send them on a mission and have them secure a kill before they get an ability. Um, higher will uh, for all the all the units that are below the squad captain's rank. Uh, this is especially useful if you have some low will units that are your best in class, uh, and you need them to resist psycher abilities. Those aren't going to be until later game, but it's still something that we're going to want to keep in mind once we get a lieutenant. That'll probably be in a few missions. Extra experience, faster level and rank ups, which means faster training uh, school unlocks, and iron will, uh, which is specifically useful for having a squad that, even without something like led by example, you can still have all of your units relatively likely to resist psycho abilities. Now, it's not a guaranteed, but some of the abilities go up to include mind control. That's absolutely absurd. Especially if some of your your higher class units get mind controlled, having something like, like a mech warrior or a heavy get mind controlled, that can be crippling on a mission. And especially if it's your A team out there, that can be game ending. So this is gonna be something we wanna get as soon as possible. Um, but for now, we are going to go to mission control. We don't have the situation room yet, unfortunately. So we're not going to be able to see what bonuses all of the different continents and all the different countries in them are going to give us. Uh, in terms of money, we're going to kind of have to make a A guess here at our first mission. We are going to do that uh, this time. Now we're going to start scanning for activity. As we scan, time is going to pass. The month is going to progress. These events are going to occur. Um, they're just going to occur much faster with the scan for activity uh, active. And it'll get us that much closer to our first um, actual mission that we have to kind of choose based off the bonuses where we're gonna go and who we're gonna save we can't save everyone but after that mission we'll have the situation room and we'll know who we want to save first so we're gonna go ahead and scan Commander, we've picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions and progress are marked on the hollow globe. Alright, now like I said, um, we're going to be able to get continent bonuses later on if we have satellites over all the countries for each continent group. Unfortunately, I really, really like that African continent.
on the bonus. I do like the extra revenue. Um, it just lets you do a whole lot more. I'd love to be able to say that we should get the $200 and save the U.S., but we don't know who's paying us. The scientists will get us that much more tech, that much faster for our engineers to build. We might have a couple extra days on a wait time with not having the extra engineers that Australia would give us. But keeping South America under control, I think, is going to be our most pressing issue. There's nothing that's a higher difficulty than anything else. So we are going to go for that faster research. I'm not sure if this is the right choice. It's really stressful making this first choice if you choose correctly. Especially with the second wave bonuses, you can be in totally different shape than if you choose incorrectly. Uh, but we have to go for that bonus. We're gonna clear the squaddies off. I know we wanna have them class up and rank up and get more kills and more abilities. But we also want more people with an ability. Um, yeah, for, for the first and sake, we're going to mix up the countries here. We're really going to go ahead and clear everyone, I guess. Especially for this mission, there's a much higher chance of us encountering more men uh, on the, the other side. So we do really want to keep people alive, especially since we are we haven't even gotten our first shipment of fresh recruits in. Prepare for deployment strikes. We don't really need more people. And let's do this. We're squad. heading to South Africa for this one, and we need to get down there fast. Alien activity continues to surge within several major cities. Our response is crucial to minimizing the spread of panic. I find it ironic he says that it's crucial to minimizing the spread of panic. There are specific panic missions. Um, the aliens will launch assaults at major cities on the different continents in the different countries and we have the opportunity at that time to save places that if we've chosen correctly have a really high threat really high panic and by completing a panic mission in that country we'll be able to drastically reduce that country's panic um, it is totally luck on where they spawn. Who has high panic is based on where you protected and haven't protected. Their spawning location is totally at random. You could end up with a place that's about to withdraw from XCOM and go save them on a panic mission and bring them back into the fold. Or it could be some place that simply has no panic whatsoever. You've been there twice, you have to go back don't do well, there's more detriment than benefit. Um, now, I believe our first panic mission comes after two or three abductions and at least one UFO spawn. So that won't be for a while. But we're going to hope that when it comes, it's not someplace that we've protected. Let's get our forces on the ground and do this. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you 5x5. Five five. Strike 1 has the green light for deployment. This is actually a map that I really like, so I can't really say I'm upset about getting it. So, yeah. On my way. And now this is a pretty standard opening. I do like to secure 
I'm on the move. Drop zone. Um, yeah, we'll spread around the perimeter. And I'm get rolling. them into overwatch. So if any enemies do come into range, we're not caught totally in Moving out. Now, I don't know where people are, so I do kind of have people <laughs> spread out of the dead Time to kick this sucker off. Now, every time you encounter enemy troops, they are going to have that extra I'm on the moon. Um, it's unfortunate. It's totally a benefit to the AI. Um, Solid copy. Hostile on the good. Now someone is playing, so... Taken care of. Okay, that was... No. That was, that was Washington. Got it, yeah. Okay. I primitive. Oh. We did not move to the right place there. That's unfortunate. It's gonna have to live with it, I guess. Uh... I'm on the move. <laughs> These sectoids have the ability to give other units an extra piece of health. That means the first damage you deal every time you attack them is going to be negated. If you don't kill them that round, conversely, if we can kill this sectoid here that's up to the other one with the bonus health, we can kill them both at once. So that back sectoid is going to be our target. I was gonna say, I heard something very bad there. He is in bad shape. Unfortunately, that's not surprising. Please, Ed. And as you can see, another sectoid went kaboom. And we are in a much better place now. Moving out! Save this dude just as well, and we can just kill the other now. enemy. Mission accomplished. Okay. We had someone get injured. Um, they're gonna be out for the next mission, more than likely. No, it's a total lie. Without a doubt, they're out for the next mission. Um, I don't even know if they got a kill if they ranked up. After, after that guy went down, it was kind of just a uh, finish this mission, collect the meld, and get the hell out of here. Uh, scenario. I'm gonna fly back to base and see what we have. Commander to the situation room. Commander to the situation room. Now, like I mentioned, we're gonna unlock the situation room, so let's go take a look at who is really supporting the XCOM project. And yes, the only person who is Bravely wounded. He's out for almost half a month. Didn't get a single kill. He's still working. Just like it sounds, the support class provides that intangible edge our squads need. They make everyone around them better. The heavy weapons specialist provides a crucial service to the squad. With the rocket launcher in tow, there are demolitions experts. get a medal. Um, I'm not going to go do anything with those quite yet. Um, I am going to, I believe that's the first medal out of the five. I want to double check with the barracks. We will be in touch, Commander. Commander, 
You can now honor our soldiers by awarding them medals for accomplishments you deem appropriate. You can view and award medals in the barracks. Okay. Um... Now I am going to wait on assigning medals. Commander to I the do situation room. Have very Commander to the situation for them room. Off of actual military commendations. So we're gonna wait a little bit, and we'll get back to those at a later time. We are gonna get into the situation room, though. Every member of the council is going to want satellite coverage, so we should plan our deployments carefully. Only are gonna have one spot. Yeah, we have one available satellite location. Um, we have one satellite building. We're gonna build a second one and a third one as soon as possible. We do want the extra uh, bonus that we get from these. Uh, they do give us a little bit extra money. And they also lower the panic. So I usually launch them in some places in dire straits. But some places it's going to lower their, their panic, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly, by two. So it can still save some place that's about to drop out of the project and bring them back into the fold. Um, but we want to know which places are we'll going to be the contact, most but I don't think benefit it's to, the to UFO us. So the U.S. gives 60. That's not a whole lot. We're not really going to worry about it. Canada gives 120. My standard is everything over 100 per month is worth saving. Um, so Canada is going to be something we protect. Same with Mexico. Argentina and Brazil are both going to be under our protection. Now we're already getting the 120 bonus from Brazil. Nothing to report at the moment. Boards are clear. Um, I'm still gonna wait. We don't really need the money right now. It's not the biggest issue in the world. If we do need money at some point, we can just go on a mission and solve an abduction case that would pay us. <clears throat> now, I did order eight troops earlier. They're gonna get here probably before the UFO arrival. Um, I'm kinda, kinda happy about that. Since we have both the expansion campaigns active within the Enemy Within game, we're going to have way more council missions and just way more pop-up missions. We do want the extra manpower. Uh, that's kind of why I'm sending out exclusively rookies We've been picking right now. up some odd transmissions lately. <clears throat> some nut calling himself Commander Straker has been all over the news ranting about shadow operatives. <laughs> yeah, because that's not us at all. Um, we are going to be doing that though, so. Africa is kind of useless in terms of their payouts, except for their national all-in bonus, which will just give us 30% more money. Um, UK is protected. France is protected. China we're going to protect, along with Japan and India. Negative. That equipment should be passed on directly to the research team. Okay. I'm getting a bad feeling, so we're going to bring three more people in. Another med kit with our last piece. I'm gonna find who has. Okay. I'm gonna find who has a med kit. You should have one. If I can stop this clicking. You're a sniper, you don't need one. Chats, you 
Hmm. Yeah, he was the last med kit. I'm gonna give him a frag grenade here. Uh, now we are gonna leave this med kit here. I have unequipped him from everyone else. That was kind of what I was going through to check. Uh, but the supports should have a med kit, so we're gonna leave that. That on Juliet. And we'll go back to mission control for now. Um, actually, before we go to mission control, we're gonna go to the hangar. And we're gonna transfer. From here, to you can arrange to have our interceptors transferred to bases throughout the world. By stationing our fleet on various continents, we'll have a much better chance of intercepting. I'm gonna interrupt him there. He's just gonna talk about how we have a better chance of intercepting a UFO activity. Totally right, totally don't care. We're gonna send that over to Africa. We do wanna try to protect them from excessive landings. Um, cause we want that all in bonus later on. We're gonna go back to scanning. Looks like in a day we're gonna get our first group of new people. Okay, Russia wants a satellite. They're gonna pay us 200 credits. If we give them a satellite, now they don't have the greatest monetary bonus, but 200 at this point in the game is a big deal. How long do we have for this? 480 hours, okay. Before then, we're going to finish this, and we should get a UFO sighting. So, what is it, Doctor? It's remarkable. The crystalline structure housed within the canister is actually a suspension containing billions of cybernetic nanomachines, each made up of both organic and mechanical components. Sounds like highly questionable science. indicates these microscopic robots are capable of assembling mechanical structures with unprecedented efficiency. With further study and some specialized facilities, we may be able to engineer a sort of cyber suit that interfaces with the human body. My team is more interested in the possibility of physically altering the tissue itself, incorporating aspects of the alien's own genetic adaptations by using the nanites to fuse the foreign material. The commander will have to decide where the greatest advantage lies. Is there anything you agree on? Ask Given the, the apparent purpose of the nanites, they allow combining organic materials with one another, or with machines. We have at least agreed to call them Meld. And we are going to be going at uh, the Machina route. We are going to be getting the mech troopers. Complete. So we're going to be saving up a little bit of money for that. And this is what we're going to be going for. We had a couple of buildings there that will let us either do the bio enhancements or the mechanical route. This is the cybernetics lab. The other one was obviously the other uh, building that popped up. We're going to be building a cybernetics lab and getting the mech troopers. But for now, we're going to get Xeno Biology as our next uh, I appreciate next your research efforts piece. to support the research team, Commander. I've already... And we have more researchers, it'll be quicker. We're going to continue scanning. Contact detected. Alright, so first UFO, it is always going to be over our starting country. And we're going to scramble our remaining interceptor. Two hits should down this. So we should be okay with this one one point. Eyes on the bandit. Later on, we're gonna have more modular uh, to improve the, the functions. We're gonna have better ships in the area, better weapons. But for now, this is all we really need. Yeah. And 
there, it goes, shot it down. Now, you can see that contact lost up at the top, that's how long it would take for the UFO to escape our uh, tail. But it didn't, it got shot down. It's gonna be okay, we're gonna have to assault it on the ground. Despite what this dude who doesn't really do anything is saying. Thanks. Central, this is Voodoo 37. We have a confirmed kill on OB-001. I repeat, the UFO is down. I'll copy, over. Solid copy, Voodoo 37. Nice work. Central out. All right, people. Retask Recon Satellite Bravo and get me a visual on that crash site. She's coming into range now, sir. On screen. Magnify. Make it bigger. Still in one piece. Well, I guess they're totally fine. Commander, I recommend we get a strike team to the crash site immediately. Alright, so we are gonna, gonna be launching off a uh, squad over to this UFO. And neutralizing any hostiles we find. But we are gonna do that next time on our XCOM Iron Man playthrough. Thank you everyone very much for checking this out. We will catch you all later. Hey there guys, did you enjoy this video? If you did, be sure to leave us a comment down below in the comment section. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe. It really means a lot to us. Thanks a lot for stopping by, and we'll see you next time.